House narrowly rejects proposal to end NSA surveillance. 205 to 217 was the vote. Wednesday's vote came after the White House and lawmakers who support the NSA surveillance activities launched a major offensive against Justin Amash's measure after it was granted a vote on Monday evening. Lawmakers voted 217 to 205 to defeat the proposal. The plan would restrict how the agency can collect bulk phone calls, records, and also metadata under the Patriot Act. We're here today for a very simple reason, to defend the Fourth Amendment, to, to defend the privacy of each and every American. As the D Director of National Intelligence has made clear, the government collects the phone records without suspicion of every single American in the United States. As we know all too well, national security is a real and present danger and something that we have to take quite seriously. We can't deal in false narratives. And a false narrative has emerged that the federal government is taking in the content of Americans' phone calls. It's not true. At a time when our nation is under siege by those individuals want to bring violence to the shores of the United States. And countless men and women from my state of Hawaii and all across the country have worn the uniform and put their lives on the line to protect our freedoms and our liberties. I cannot in good conscience vote to take a single dollar from the pockets of hard-working taxpayers from across the country to pay for programs which infringe on the very liberties and freedoms our troops have fought and died for. Ben Franklin said they who give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. We're here to answer one question for the people we represent. Do we oppose the suspicionless collection of every American's phone records? When you had the chance to stand up for Americans' privacy, did you? So we see the House coming onto this. They're saying, uh, you know, we don't so much care about your privacy, even though it was a relatively close vote. But keep in mind, uh, Congress last week or so said, you know, we, we don't agree with what President Obama was saying when he said, you know, Congress was briefed on all these measures. They know exactly what's going on. Well, either Congress is lying or President Obama is lying because Congress saying that we knew something was going on. We didn't know to the extent of it. But, you know, President Obama saying that, you know, they knew exactly what was going on. So one of the other is lying and hopefully we'll find out which of them is lying very soon. But not all hope is lost. We still have this support these three bills or live like a slave. Now, these are things that you can support. You can call your representatives and let them know that these things are going on. The Surveillance State Repeal Act, also the Mind Your Own Business Act, and also the 21st Century Glass-Steagall Act. And if you support any of all these measures, you can go and contact your representative at whoismyrepresentative.com. Find out who your local representative is, because, you know, I was watching an interview with uh, Luke Radowski and Paul Joseph watching. They said, we have enough keyboard warriors. We have enough cyber warriors. We need people who will actually physically pick up the phone, call somebody, or lo and behold, actually go to the state houses, go to their office buildings and say, hey, you know, you need to support this or you don't need to support that. And that's what you need to do. And you can find that all on whoismyrepresentative.com. Now we'll move on to some other news. Hackers demonstrate dangerous stunts after carjacking vehicle. Hackers demonstrate dangerous stunts after carjacking vehicle. Forge Magazine has produced a short video report demonstrating the various operations computer hackers can manipulate once they've assumed control of a vehicle's critical functions. And it goes on to put in light the Rolling Stones articles about Michael Hastings, people saying that, you know, this is just fabrication, that you can't hack a vehicle. Well, this is what they found out. What has been revealed as a result of some research at the universities is that it is relatively easy to hack your way into the control system of a car and do things such as make the car accelerate, do things such as slam on the brakes and make the airbags deploy, and not even to mention things such as Google cars that are completely automated, and you can have those things drive you down the street. You can go to YouTube right now and type in Google car, and you can see some guy being driven around by the car. The car is so advanced, it knows when to stop at red lights, at stop signs, it can even drive itself do a drive through at a restaurant. So this is very real technology. Not saying that's necessarily what happened in the case of Michael Hastings, but this is real technology, and don't let them try to convince you otherwise. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.